Hey guys, I'm Janice on occasion, and today, more Zardine Gathering campaign. It just keeps going, doesn't it? Yeah. Ice but we keep fish. going. We're crushing it. Um, we have already won, so, you know, it's kind of um, just chilling, doing what we want. It's kind of exciting. Uh, we've got Boris, Boris over here. Ursus Sorry, himself. Boris Ursus, yes. Um, let's give him Blade Shield and have him go and get some treasure. We say Yummy treasure. Also, these guys can't... Yeah, they got reach. They can, they can get to here in March start, so um, he can't touch us. Uh, the remains of a large sea beast are spotted floating in some nearby backwaters. The unidentified creature has been inexplicably ripped to pieces by an explosive force. It's belly torn open and exposed. This mysterious find could prove bountiful, for who knows what devoured treasures might reside within its guts. An unidentified ship has also been spotted nearby rival scavengers. Whoever they are, they aren't one to share salvage with anyone. Loot the carcass. Kill the baddies. Uh, let's get some replenishment and then all their treasure. Or a veteran warrior and traits. Here we go. Eight grand. Hooray. Uh, the rival salvagers you spotted turned out to be a freebooting horde of undead pirates. As you approach the putrid remains, they turned their guns and cannons on you. After dispatching them in the ensuing sea battle, you looted their galleon's coffers, which had recently been filled with the trinkets and valuables extracted from the dead beast's belly. Nice that they did all the hard work for us. Uh, so we want to head down to Caron pretty soon. Um, don't have a full stack, which is which is sad. Um, so Zardina, Catherine of Kislev, um, is going to take Citadel of Lead pretty soon. These guys are chilling. I don't really know. I don't really know how I deal with them. Just go and carry on loitering, I suppose. Uh, maybe I'll take a step back. I might just sit tight there and wait for Zardina Catherine to deal with them and come back up, and I can just wash everything away. Nice and easily. Uh, we have Zakharova up here, who is going to deal with the Forest of Decay. And we also have uh, Igor Kaitra up here, with lots of level ups to get. Uh, Rally. And for uh, Yarogny Beduzov. Enduring Devotion, why not? And Bebchuk. How many. Bebs, can a Beb chuck chuck if a Beb chuck could chuck Bebs? Just that one. Um, let's get... Oh, I don't know. Devastating charge. Sure. Okay. Is that everyone leveled up? You are recruiting. I just knocked something off my shelf. Don't worry about it. Uh, not shelf. Desk. Which is lower down, so less important. If it was a shelf, be like, oh no. A great height. No, desk. It's fine. <laughs> I know, shelves could be lower than desks. Not this one. Not this one. Um, let's have a look. Um, logistician isn't a bad idea, honestly. I think man of the people, though, because he is. And then let's start making him a champ. I accept this tribute. Brilliant. Commander I'm glad. Of the soldiery. Um, yeah, Curse of the Ancient Witch. Why not? Which one is that? Missile block chance and armor down. That is actually pretty great. If we use that on, like, Black Orcs or something, you know, we can really, really kill them a lot quicker. Which would be pretty cool. Yeah, Pants, Impenetrable Pelt, and Amber Spear. Alright, good. So, um, now we've got a bit of extra cash. I have a plan. We're gonna get another army. I know, another one. I know, another army. Uh, let's, should we get Nestor? Kudrov here. I'm sure we get someone else. Anton Slapka with his ambush chance. I kind of like that. Uh, I don't want any Ataman. That's silly. Confident. Determined. I mean, Student of Mishka doesn't seem like a bad idea. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll go with Nestor here. We go with Nestor Kudrov. Alright, and then this guy, what he's going to do. What he's going to do for us is he's going to get a bunch of troops and we are going to send him, well actually we're going to send Oleg, to take uh, Ozkalak and he is going to babysit it. We're going to make a big old garrison, this really high tier. So we're going to probably get it at tier 4, we'll still have a big garrison on it, it's going to be really powerful and we'll be able to fight off anything that comes at us. And it means that Oleg can start conquering his way across this other territory towards the ever chosen and uh, and friends 
and that will help us deal with all of them. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's the way we go, right? That's the way we do things. I think that's the way to go. Oh, what do you do with that guy? Uh, shop tracking, yeah, it's fine. Oh, it's not fine, but you know, it's it's fine. Uh, Ultra Crimson Harvest, we aren't even getting the money building yet. And this area is actually earning a ton of money. So that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, let's get more money from there. Good. Oh, and, and Adamant has something. Oh, it's him. Master Builder. Construction cost down. It's like he knew we were going to be building things. Let's try that again, shall we? Alright, got a bit of extra cash now. Do it Longship Graveyard too. Or should we go all in with money because, my god, we are spending so much money. Our income has gone down crazy fast. Uh, I just got you, didn't I? Yes, I did. Um, okay, I feel like we're upgrading everything we can. I'm going to upgrade that, though. Just makes me feel better to have that upgraded. Uh, let's do that, too. Okay. Lord's not moved. That's normal. Don't worry. He never moves. They always... They never know that he's behind that one tree. They just never realise. It's unbelievable. Not the brightest, these orcs. Uh, okay, Jaeger's coming for Elena Zakharova. With a ludicrous amount of chimeras. Our common cause shall benefit the world. What do you need, Carl? He wants to give me three grand to join the war against Heinrich Kambler, who has a settlement, by the looks of it. Uh, yeah. Like, obviously. That sounds great. Are you okay, Carl? Are you alright? Counteroffer. Military alliance. He really does not want to give me a military alliance. But yeah, I'll agree to be in this war. I'm sure it'll really... Really get me embroiled in a bunch of... Terrible... Conflict. No, I think we'll be fine. Thanks, Carl. Okay, Grimgor. Yeah, one of, one of his armies about to get... Murdered again. <laughs> oh wow, all of the regiments are renowned as well. I'm so tempted just to fight this, just so we have this, like, ridiculous... You know, this ridiculous army to chop through, but it feels a bit pointless. Okay, uh, treasury. I need to make as much money from, like, battles as possible, because that's going to be supporting everything. Speaking of battles... Oh dear, Altdorf is under attack. Sylvania is coming for Gelt. And they lost to Gelt? Yeah, Gelt beat them. Okay. He may have to retreat, though, because of, you know, attrition and things. There are so many stacks here. I don't know why they're all just sat on top of each other like this. They could just all run down to Geld and just slaughter everybody. But no, they're like just huddling around Castle Drakenhof. It's very strange. The Shadow Legion have an army up here too. Uh, wait, hang on. They did. I, th <laughs> I think they just got defeated. And he's just jumped into the sea, so Boris could kill him. Yeah, I now defeated that, that army. The garrison won. God, the demons are really not putting on a good show today, are they? And then the cool are going to attack Shock Draken, which, uh... Which, that is a... Wait, hang on, what sort of settlement is it? It is a settlement -y settlement. So... I could get some alright value out of it, but I, I still just think sheer numbers, it, they'll kill us all. Um... So I'm not sure how much I can be bothered. Oh, it's a tough one. I feel like I could maybe do all right here. Nah, it's I'm not I'm not gonna be that precious about a single minor settlement. We've got plenty of other things to crack on with, and I yeah, I'm not gonna waste time fighting that battle. 
Uh, okay, self-proclaimed truth speaker has been touring the Stenitzes, spreading a message of faithlessness. The blasphemer seduces our citizens into believing that the great orthodoxy is merely a political construct designed to keep them in line. Clearly, nothing could be further from the truth, but we must act. Uh, that is very much um, the vibe I get from Castelton. He's he's very um, he seems very reasoned and thoughtful in cutscenes with him, um, and then like a maniac on the battlefield, just like shouting, you know. Every cliche of you know, for Olson, man, you know he's, he's very like obviously like one note um, outside of outside of the cutscenes, and to me it just he's just trying to get political clout. You know he just wants to run Kislev. Like that's that's how I see him. He's a sort of a a despot trying to seize power through the church, which I think is um, you know pretty fun. And also it sort of. Um, it slightly uh, better lines up with the sort of like Castel, um, not Castelton, Rasputin mythos of like you know trying to worm his way into power. Uh, so I, yeah, I like it. I think it's I think it's interesting, but a lot of it is kind of got to read it for yourself. But little events like this make me kind of feel like they're trying to tell us that that's how he's been written. You know, it's um, yeah. I can't wait to get like more definitive stuff on Castelton if we ever do. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to arrange a little accident, because chances are he'll be some, like, chaos worshipper or something, anyway. Um, so Grimgul's war failed. I mean, I don't, I couldn't even tell that he had a war going, because he was throwing all of his troops at me, so... And he hadn't declared a war on me, so I don't know what was going on there. So, Oleg, let's get you, uh, full plate. And I'm swapping this stuff around. I'm getting rid of the Crown of Command. I'm getting rid of the Great Bear Pelt. We can do better. The Iron Ice Armor lowers melee attack of nearby things and speed. As does the White Cloak of Ulrich, doesn't it? Yeah. So it'll be minus 15% speed and minus 16 melee attack of nearby enemies. While our nearby allies get plus 8 melee attack. That's really fun. And an enchanted item, huh? Enchanted item. Uh, so these sorts of things. Potion of healing could be a fun one. Because him getting even more healing, he already has two potions of toughness. And so he'd just be able to heal all day. He's basically like Captain Kislev. I can do this all day. Alright, it's going to be great. This is fantastic. Also, I can't be bothered with them. Let's fuse those, see if we get anything better. We didn't. Not really. Uh, is this one? Oh yeah, it can make you go rampage. It's not it's not that powerful. Let's and Warrior Bane, that lowers weapon strength a little bit. It's not much. Obsidian amulet. Again. Not great. Alright, don't need a crown of command. And Boris, you do not need a crown of command. I know you want a crown and everything. You know, I'm I'm sure. Zardine and Catherine has, has your old crown now, but like, yeah, crown of commands? No, no, no. Ooh, the obsidian blade. I like the obsidian blade. Just that big armor piercing damage buff is great. Uh, you've already got Frostfang, though. That's a shame. I was thinking, could we give her an extra 100 um, From Linsk to Urskoy, damage? We Probably not. Strong. Uh, that gets pretty good bonuses. Um, you've already got Urson's Claws and a Great Bear Pelt for Perfect Vigor. Do you need do you need a bonus for Perfect Vigor? We must protect Probably. Bounty. Commander of the I'm almost tempted, instead of having the um, buff for plus 8 melee attack, I give him the Obsidian Kislev's Blade so he just hits like an absolute truck. I think that's more fun. Just him being an absolute beast in melee who can go all day. I kind of love it. I kind of love it. So that's what I'm going to do with him. Uh, you two need to level up, and also you can have an armor of fortune, or a worm harness, I guess. And you can have an armor of fortune, and those are going to fuse. And here, have a trickster's shard. I'm going to fuse those two, and a potion of healing. Yeah, all right, that's as much like we bothered to do. So uh, let's equip that. Well, level up that. And level up that. Good. Done and done and done and done and done. Alright, so Nestor. More of those, please. And right over here. Strength replenish. Replenish. I need you to have a bigger soldiers. army too. 
Tempted to get some some monsters and such, but uh, no, we'll keep it keep it fairly fairly straight. Oh, hello. Yes, please. Let's upgrade help it. It's gonna take forever, and now we can't do anything else. And oh my god, our income is so bad. Uh, but other than that, <laughs> Christ. Yeah, our income is nothing. Uh, you can't quite reach him. Oh. Oh, and you now can't move. What? Oh, I think she might have had a movement blocked or something. Yeah, it must have. Okay. Um. Then yeah, let's head to Volcano's Heart. Volcanoes have those. Uh, also, we can get some more money over here. Oh. Fire ice arrows. Very nice. Let's occupy that and uh, immediately build an income building, and we'll demolish that, because we don't need it. Uh, oh, St. Anushka's Fingerbone. Punches hit points to combatants. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, effective units. Uh, just one, one ally. So it's not great. It's okay. It's an active ability, though. Yeah, it doesn't have uses, so you can use it every, um, every minute, which is kind of cool. So I kind of like that. Um, ooh, do I want it or want a you lot? Should we give it to you? Let's give it to you. Where's Saint Nishka's finger bone? There it is. She didn't have an enchanted item for some reason. And there are better talismans, apparently. Why, well, Cloak of Ulrich for you as well. Yeah, low enemy melee attack and speed. Perfect. Love that. Brilliant. Okay, let's get some skills. What do we need? Uh, oh god, like, who even cares about you anymore? You can get anything. Oh, skilled craftsman. We can we can make our sleds a little bit better. Um, I can't be bothered to get lightning strike anymore with her. I don't think it matters. Uh, let's get mentor. I have no idea what that's going to allow, you know, sort of extra experience for. I don't have a clue. But we'll see, maybe. Uh, should I grab that treasure with her? No, she needs to she needs to heal up. This guy's on his way. Uh, and by the looks of it, he can't quite reach us. So we'll have another turn of replenishment before we need to worry about him. And hopefully Throg won't join in as well. You sit tight, you keep recruiting. Um, God, I think, I think that's... Oh, no, it's not everything. We still need you to do something. Excellent. Although we have suffered quite a lot of injuries. I haven't looked at the guy's army. Apparently I didn't have to. Um, these guys are no problem at all. That's a pretty flimsy looking army. So, bye. Bye, fella. Uh, Saliak provides. Excellent. Um, can I get on land? Like, maybe? I'm probably gonna land here, but I wanna get on land closer to Curon. So I will. Actually. Do I want to wait another turn so I can at least replenish? That is only a little outpost that has basically nothing. Screw it, we'll, we'll get on land now. I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, so, one thing that Boris does need... Well, I do want Deadly Onslaught for him, but we do need to get creatures of land so he can upgrade his bears, and then we need to actually get him some bears. He meant to say bear excellent because, you know, it's all, it's all bear. It's all bear puns with him. Even when they don't make sense. The guy's a lunatic. It's why everyone said he was dead. <laughs> They're like, don't listen to him. He's crazy. Hide him away. Hit him. Hit him in this waterfall. Yeah. Alright. You're done. Building upgrades available. I mean, always. Yeah, winter pyre. Here. Make me some money. Thanks. Uh, you just sit tight. I mean, between you and the garrison, we should be able to fight him off fairly easily. He says no, don't listen to him. He's talking crazy. Uh, Jaeger's gonna try and fight us, which might work well, actually. Apparently not that well. Um, yeah, fine. No worries. Ah, <laughs> there he goes. And let's go with Repunchment. More plagues, of course. Every time we fight the faction, we get a plague. It's, uh... Ugh, it's a lot. I will tolerate no opposition. <laughs> Grimgore wants peace. 
<laughs> no. Wow, he's all to pay a lot. Yeah, no, sorry, mate. So, Kemler is once again just sort of loitering. He got chased off, but yeah, he's just loitering there now. Um, does he even have... I don't think he even has Uber Strike anymore, actually. So Archeon's finally sort of showing up. Oh, and Jorhul and Farmort, Farmort are both over here. It's fine, we'll soon have two stacks up there, once we defeat the demons. The Demon Legion, or whatever they're called. The Legion of Demons. Oh, we got some, uh, got some Jokers running around. Interesting. Uh, victory over demons. Well done. Got more people ready. Ah, pirate's weapons. Extra range for everybody. Amazing. The Old World's second largest trading port uh, provides safe berthing to pirates and privateers in return for knowledge of foreign martial advances. The Slaughterhorn tribe is somewhere. I feel like I heard them nearby. But, um, you know. Uh, yeah, we got, uh, we got this guy to deal with. That's a bit of a bit of a nuisance. Are you going to swing around and take that settlement? You might. Wow, really? Valiant defeat? Oh boy. A lot of Chosen. A lot of Chosen. Uh, it's going to be a big Lizardman battle. Well, you know, Lizardman settlement battle. Uh, so that's fun. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go for it. Okay. Uh, that really looked like a gate should be there. Where are the gates? There's a gate here. And there's one over there. Okay, I, I like to attack where we land, but this is absurd. Like, it just put us in the one place we can't actually attack, which is real dumb. So, okay, I guess I'll go down here. You know, I'll still be along the same stretch. There'll still be all these towers that are going to shoot the absolute snot out of us. So, um, you know, I don't feel like being over here is cheating exactly. Uh, oh wow, that's also blocked. Wow, what a nuisance. But, like, how are we supposed to deploy here? Alright, you know what? Change my mind. We're just gonna, we're gonna go over here. Alright, I'm gonna cheat. Alright, we're going for the easy one. There's already gonna be a difficult fight, but, uh, yeah, deployment on this level is ridiculous. There's no room to deploy anywhere. It's very silly. Anyway, you lot, you're gonna go for the gate. Ah, uh, these guys go up the walls. It's gonna be cool, alright? It's gonna be pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna deploy a bit wonky, because I want to make sure these towers don't get, um... sort of stationed, I suppose. Is a word for it. You know, Chaos Warriors, those are chosen, these are chosen. Oh. Hmm. Those chosen with halberds. Now we don't have that much magic. Oh wow, we got like nothing in the reserve tank either. Oh dear. Wow, okay, yeah, we really need more magic for this army. Okay, what? <laughs> the ones I told to go to the walls, their glyphs are still over here for some reason. All right, let's get you closer. Maybe you don't stand in the fire, but I think they'll be fine if they stand in the fire. It's fine. It's fine. All right, what do we do with our smidge of magic? I say that, forbidden rod. Let's get more magic. Okay, hopefully... The Ice Guard with Glaives. I mean, they're anti-large, but they do have armor piercing, so... Ah, oh, the melee attack's only 39, though. That's pathetic. Ugh. Grim. Um, I'm thinking, can I debuff them? Oh! No, shoot in the back. Much better. And we're in. Okay, let's go get them. There's already time down. And I can do Frozen Heart of Winter once they all, um, you know, get far too tangled in me. Ooh, is there a good spot? I feel like that's hitting a lot of them. I think I might need to wait a little longer for them to 
really like get stuck in here or do I you know what we'll put it there I think this is going to be um, brutal Chosen are very hurt they're having fun uh, right, let's deploy you guys up here Okay, yeah, we're doing mad damage here. Oh, let's throw some battle cats. All right, it's battle cat throwing time. Wow, it's still still going. We did unbelievable damage there, didn't we? Twenty-one thousand. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad for one spell. I'd like to do another one. I think I'm gonna have her damage herself again. Oh, Ice Guard Glaives are moving in silly ways. That's fine. Are you guys shooting? I feel like you look like you could be shooting, but you're not shooting. Is there a problem with shooting? Okay, now you're shooting. Yeah, now this is this is epic. Look at that. Yeah. Excellent. Very cool. And, uh, yeah, another Frozen Heart of Winter. Yeah, all right, these guys are coming in, slowly but surely. Excellent. Yeah, here they come. Love that. And uh, let's hit with a hailstorm as well. Incredible. So many. So many arrows coming in. Love to see it. All right, how are you doing? Uh... All right, 250 kills. 40,000 damage. Still going up. Remember when the game, when auto resolve was just like, oh, you're going to lose this one, guys. You're definitely going to lose this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I will. Okay, more buffs. Uh, you can do an explosion... Uh, oh, speaking of explosions. And that's army losses. That's army losses already. Wow. That's brutal. Though like, we did lose a lot of winged lances. Uh, but yeah, we crushed it. That was, um, that was obscene. Absolutely obscene. Well done, boys. Alright. So, made another... 4.6k. That's going to help us keep going with that terrible income. Um, but yeah, absolutely crushed it. That was insane. Just a casual 369 kills against an army of Chosen. You know, I'll take it. Although it did inflate it slightly, but it was like almost that at the end of the battle. Uh, I could loot and occupy just with a big injection of money. So I will. Uh, still tier 4. So like I still feel comfortable just building this up. And we have the Ruined Ogum Stones, which put up uh, income from all buildings and the local province. That's quite good. Faction-wide power uh, wins a magic power reserve. That's really nice, too. Yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, what else can I build? I think I might just go with, like, a bunch of income buildings. There we go. And Citella Lead. Let's try and repair that. Oh, hello. Hi, Kugu. Kugu. Hi, right, Zarina Katarina of Kislev. Let's get you. Uh, something. I don't know. Uh, missile resist. Even though I think um, her sled's a little bit bugged. With regards to missiles, I think she's basically impossible to shoot on the sled. Its hitbox is a bit janky. Or like it targets a particular point on the model that, like. Yeah, I don't know. Something. Apparently there's an issue. Boris Ursus himself. Um, we have, like, Not next so to no Winds of Magic, which is really weird. Really weird that none of our armies seem to have any magic. What I happened switch. to make that happen? I am the blizzard. Like, you gotta, you got to heal up, though. What a problem. Uh, there's more problems there. And one army's missing. Did it ambush? It might be an ambush stance, you know. Frost. Oh, I just head back. Um, 
Okay, they're doing all right on magic. He's doing great on magic. Drusina, for the glory of Kislev. Okay, let's see. Uh, root marcher, do you need that? Oh, okay, I gave him firing drills. This must be one of our old ones. I shall carry it with okay, good. Uh, full Dwarf Slav. It's nice and everything. Uh, more marble. Sounds good. Yeah, Full Dwarf Slav, I'm gonna try and build some things up. Do we need that? Probably not. You know what? Nah. Nah, we don't. Uh, yeah, what more? Gems, please. Uh, you can get more cheap folk. And Natalia Ungol refused can probably head down here and take that next turn. I'll give us some, like, actually, you know, ambushes or something. Just to finish the army. They're quite expensive, right? Yeah. Ugh. You know, I might end up bankrupt, actually. Might end up bankrupt. That'll be exciting. Okay. Over here. Let's take Volcano's Hearts. I mean, these guys will take Crystal Spies. It's fine. I'm just trying to wipe out factions. So if that guy ends up taking, you know, if... if uh, Archaon ends up taking more territory. Doesn't matter because they're all in a line, so I can just I can go back and reconquer them. I switch. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna attack that too. Although pretty injured here. Ooh, high casualties. That is very high casualties. I still think it's worth it just to expedite the process. I can just recruit more. You know, it's not really a problem. Uh, oh. Medicinal herbs. Wasn't that nice? Faction-wide replenishment rate. That's very powerful. Uh, I should probably keep the church. I don't think we need this, though. I don't think we need the snow leopard building. Got a bunch of students. Do you guys have students? You got a student. Uh, do you have a student? You got a student. You also have a student. You also have a student. Okay, let's just go to the ones that have nothing. Ancillaries... Student. And student. There we go. Good. So what does that put our research rate? 190. Wow, I'm getting double speed now. Uh, oh yeah, so I got the pirate weapons. Let's go back to tradable resources produced, because we need more money. Like, really badly. Yeah, alright, that's all fine. Um, who breach loaders? Kiss of gunpowder weapons get extra armor piercing damage. The fact that's also the armored cossars, that's pretty good. An extra three armor piercing per volley per guy. That's kind of nice. So we may have to head that way on the skill tree before long. Um, I want arcane conduit. Which we'll be able to get next turn. Good. Not next turn, next level up. I can get mentor. That's cool. Oh, and something else, my bad. Uh, ooh, um, we have all the spells. Okay, specialist then, why not? And Radi, let's get you cleanse corruption, because we're fighting, a, you know, fighting a war in hell right now. We require soldiers. And it's two turns. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's get them from global then. All right, there we go. It's going to take a couple Wait. turns to recruit things, Please but that's okay. Um... Actually, if I'm going to do that, if I'm going to do that, actually, we still have our armored one, so it's just the weak, weak folk that we need. Also, do we need the Oath Brothers of Tor in this army? They're very expensive. Yeah, I want that variety. Let's do it. Um, okay, one settlement left, and the faction's dead. And then we can have both of these armies just turn about and start fighting these jerks. So that's good news. Now, uh, skirmisher traditions. And for Beledna Bebchuk, let's get Biting Wind. Okay, good. Good. Now we can get a bunch of other upgrades here, too. Let's upgrade Winter Pyre. Uh, Lair of the Troll King, we can continue to upgrade things on. Yeah, we can do that, too. We can upgrade this. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't like this guy being here. We may need to hunt him down. We may need to hunt him down with um, Nadezhda Shapka. May have to hunt him down. Because it won't be long. Pozarina Catherine is heading back up that way. Uh, though no. this guy might be about to take the Citadel lead back, so we'll be constantly just running around in circles. Which is a bit annoying. Okay. 
Is everybody done? Yeah, you are still... God, can this guy just get ambushed so I can take his collect now? Because he's got a very good garrison. You know? All building upgrades, apparently. Are there, though? Are there? Uh, God, I wouldn't even know what to build. Maybe this for the extra income? Probably. We'll get to it one day. Oh, and I haven't even got any upgrades there yet. In fact, let's be a bit cheeky. You're going to stand over here. Alright, you're bait. He's going to see you and go, ooh, yummy. A, a lovely nest daughter egg. And let's see. Uh, I mean, that's going to get taken in a second anyway, but let's pretend like we can get rid of the um, chaos corruption effect. Well, not the chaos corruption, the chaos habitat effect. And yes, you just shimmy to that. Good. Good boy. You are a stain upon existence. Uh, he wants peace. Of course he does. I would ask for peace as well, you know. Given the situation. Okay, so I think the Reichland may have just got rid of Heinrich Kemmler there. Well, I'm going to chase him down again, I assume. Come on, in your own time. So that might be the end of that faction. Yeah, his hero just disappeared. So he paid us three grand to be a part of that war that was just Kurt chasing down <laughs> a single remaining army. I, I didn't have to be anywhere near that. Okay, so they've not seen Oleg. They've not seen Oleg. So you might be about to get another... Oh, come on, hurry up. Hang on, they normally move the agents last, don't they? They might have decided not to march over there. Yeah, they did. That's a shame. That's a shame. And yeah, of course we can lose that. That's fine. No, you guys go nuts. Enjoy. And Archeon's here too. So there are actually three full stacks up here that are quite scary. And I'm only re really replacing one of the armies with, like, Cossars. So, I'm not sure we can take these guys on. We'll have to see. We'll get rid of the demons. Then maybe I could flee back to, um, back to Norska. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, Winter 2 has still been a pain over here. Throg is... Heading south? Yeah, okay. Not a problem. Okay, and this guy's heading south again, which means the Zarvin and Katarin could probably wipe them all out together. <laughs> no, because he's going to see now. Okay, this is fine. We can still get rid of most of them, I reckon. And the Port of Secrets is under attack. That's fine. That's another just, like, random chaos one. Like, chaos wastes thing. So not really a problem. Barrel Legion, destroyed. Can you really not get over there and attack? Well, how are you supposed to do that, then? Well, not like that, apparently. Alright, move there, and you can attack next turn. So there's two settlements. And, God, should I kill him? I feel like he's going to attack something sooner or later. Hungrier than the average bear. That's fun. Uh, feeding war bears is an expensive business. Oh, really? Is it going to be... Oh, no, upkeep's down. Oh, awesome. Okay. Uh, feeding war bears is an expensive business. The beasts consume their own body weight in meat daily. That feels inaccurate. The discovery of an enormous Slaneshi cult hiding in Erengrad sewers is thus an occasion for celebration rather than dismay. Blasphemy is duly purged and the bears sleep well. That's very fun. Uh, yeah, I think we need to get rid of this guy. I know, it's a pain, but... You know, we'll deal with them in a minute. Okay, done. And I suppose replenishment, just so we can... ...get nice and fit and healthy a lot quicker. Um, and I don't suppose I have... Oh, I do. Good. Let's try and get some more magic. We really need to be in channeling stance for a while. Who has... Ah, you do. You have an event for me. Uh, let's do the Frost Maiden stuff for him. And for you. Uh, Frost Maiden stuff as well. Because, you know, we got to be on brand. 
cross maidens all the time. Okay, good. So, Denied. Uh, you the can take this, bringer. I reckon. Yep. Remember your training. Good. This I is mine now. Go over the town of Heimkill again. And then we'll have to move up the to Frozen Landing, so which might force this guy to move. We'll see. But I reckon this army can handle that army, no problem. I speak for Kislev. So let's go... You know, we need to make sure we get firing Such drills. Power. I need to make sure that this Such army can actually perform. Or else um, we're sort of screwed. Let's get replenished troops and let's do Elston's Raw uh, level up. I can't be able to give them equipment. My duty. It's not going to make that much difference. Do the same with you. And, okay. Can you can you come attack me, please? Please? <laughs> Go on. Uh, maybe one day. Um, Forest of Decay. It takes seven turns to build a garrison there. Is that worth doing? Maybe it is. Just like anyway. Alright, you go finish him off anyway. These two will get taken for sure. Alright, yeah. Got a warhorse, great. Hang on. No, hang on. Factions destroyed. Oh yeah, there we go. I skipped that somehow. Legion of Chaos, finally destroyed. Uh, so we got Legion of Chaos. They're dead. And that means that if we have a look at our objectives, and our big boy objectives... Hang on, wait. Occupy Loot Razor Sack 30 settlements. 34. Occupy Loot Razor Sack 70. 46. This number paused when we got to 600 supporters. We're actually on 46 out of 70. That suddenly feels really quite doable. You know? So now we only have to get rid of the war host of the apocalypse. I've got to say, like, victory conditions feel a bit more, um, like, realistic and enjoyable um, than they have done previously, because this feels like we have enough stuff to keep us busy without getting to the point where we snowballed beyond needing to care about a single thing. Like, we're still stretched fairly wide with, like, a lot of conflicts. We're kind of nailing all of them, of course, but, like, this is a bit iffy. We've got a couple of armies up here, but we have enemies that can throw out far more than that, so, you know, it's, it's interesting. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Um, at some point... Oleg is going to be able to go up here and deal with things, but, like, I, it makes me wonder if Archaon has some, like, secret covenant with the Orcs, you know, to keep us busy. That's what I wonder. That's what I wonder, because he knows that the end times will never happen if Oleg has anything to do with it. As long as Oleg stays out of the war, the world is doomed. <laughs> but the moment Oleg decides Archaon is his mark, there's nothing he can do. Anyway, guys, if you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Absolute ruler of the motherland.